Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video of Bleach Brave Souls, and in today's episode... <laughs> Words are apparently very difficult, and on today's episode we're doing is covering a little bit more on the game. Um, I have a small problem in my account right now. Uh, in terms of characters, and in terms of being able to grind inheritance, I've been doing a really good job with it. Uh, being able to run just the New Year's Ichigo isn't a great way to run inheritance, but it works. Uh, Kayan, uh, the tag team Yama, and the Kenny, fantastic for doing inheritance. And I have pretty decent characters for each different typing. Except for green. Uh, over inside the tech category, I only have the damage reduction Rukia. So what I'll be doing today is covering a couple of multis on the Urahara banner. I do know that they have a, a supposed banner coming out at the end of the month of something huge. Um... However, I want to be able to grind inheritance when it comes back around to be able to get potions for whoever ends up dropping. Uh, and I find myself direly needing any form of green to be able to do that. And genuinely, when I played as Urahara back inside my old account, I think that he was the most fun character to play with in terms of the entirety of tech for me. Um, I wish I still had that account, but unfortunately the gods of computer crashing did unfortunately kick my ass. So we'll hop into this. I wouldn't mind getting copies of either the Yoroichi for the 25% uh, strong attack damage link for my Yama, or getting uh, Renji just to be able to do some more of Inheritance with the obviously Hollow and a Rankar killer is fantastic for doing that. Um, so we're going to hop into this. We're going to do... I'm, I'm, I might use all of my orbs if I don't end up getting him, however, once we get even a copy of him, or one of the dupes of any of the other characters, we're gonna stop. So, very chill day today. Uh, I've been looking forward to future banners dropping inside this game, and I've kind of been waiting and saving, and trying to do stuff on my own. But god, it hurts to try and wait for like, three months in a row for banners you don't really... I don't care too much about these banners that have been dropping recently. Like, I like the Kenny, I like the Toshiro and stuff, but I don't really feel like this 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 embodiment of hype around it, like I do with some of the other units, like the manga units, like anything else. Oh! Hey, Five Star! Hey, Urahara! Yeah! That's the Tatakai Desuyo! The best shit in the world! Welcome! I'll take it. We're also demonetized. That's some good shit right there. Uh, I genuinely just needed a green, so I am more than happy to take that right now. Uh, likely I'll probably just end up maxing him out as soon as possible and trying to run him, and... I already have a decent Yuki for him, so I should be able to run him with a pretty decent build. Uh, good stuff. I will take it, and we'll just click through all of this, because who knows? Maybe we'll get a Yoroichi, and I'll be the happiest in the world. But that's our multi. I'll take it. Thank God for the Kisuke. I've seen a lot of people that have been trying to go on this banner when they ended up re-rolling, trying to go for him and getting very little luck. So, very happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna quickly go max him out, and then we'll play as him for a little bit and just have a good time. I'll see you in one second. Okay, so I wasn't able to max out the level of Urahara, unfortunately, but it's not a huge deal. What I was just trying to go for, for the most part, is just getting him to whatever level I can before I run any of these quests. You know what? Let's go do a 5-star versus a raid. Let's go fight this Ichigo on Legendary and see how well I can do with my build currently. So you have a level 70 Urahara with a green Yuki with 12% stamina, 10% spiritual pressure, and 10% attack. With 12%, 14%, and 12% for his builds. Let's go find out how this goes. I'm also going to grab some extra benefits here. Don't need focus, but I'll take it. Um, during this, like, inheritance season, I've actually been having a lot of fun just grinding out with my red team. I found that tag team Yama was just incredibly fun to play for the most part. I'm honestly surprised. Uh, I'm typically not a huge fan of units that have, like, vortexes and stuff. But genuinely, he has an incredibly fun kit to use, and charge attacks 
I never usually end up using them, but with him, I feel like I actually have incentive to do it, and it clears out so many waves. I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's, it's definitely been a good time. Um, I'm looking forward to being able to do Inheritance when it comes back around with Urahara. Honestly, I don't know if he's enough to carry me. Also, I'm just going to do that. I don't know if he's enough to carry me through those in the future. Because while it's nice to have one green, I don't know if I can beat with just one recharge green right now with my current builds. Inheritance is annoying, I find, in terms of how they end up spawning enemies. And if you don't have the constant strong attacks like he needs, it hurts. And when you have to do normal attacks sometimes, you'll get one shot and destroyed, so... I'll try. Either way, his kit is just so fun. It's just so safe whenever you're fighting the enemies. That's what I like about him the most. Like, the enemies that you're fighting never end up getting up when you're struggling. Go for it. Honestly, 5-star versus this raid is actually going really well. I also still have the revive. Good stuff, Urahara. I also love his model. I'm looking forward to when they release the next Urahara. I heard that White Day is coming out for the mid-month this month. Uh, which, the Kisuke from that, the mind one, is going to be a filler. Truthfully, I do kind of want to go in on it if they have some cool characters. I don't know who else they're going to release, but there was hints toward them releasing, I believe, an Aizen last year. I remember them saying that there was a king that was the king of illusions and chocolate uh, from the Stark text. And in that case, I'm definitely going to end up going in on that. Uh, it'll be curious how they do it this year, because we also have the confirmations for the end of month having the novel characters. Or, like, we have the announcement stream on the 28th for the for the novel characters, and then I imagine we're going to have them released immediately afterwards, because that's how they did the manga characters originally. They announced them at the Bankai Live at, like, I think it was, like, the 28th, and the 31st when they actually dropped inside the game. So, I'm looking forward to it. Some of the things inside it's going to be really interesting. I think that playing as Hikone and um, Tsunashiro is going to be super fun. I've been reading through the novels recently. I've been trying to catch up entirely. That shit fucking goes places. That shit goes on journeys. Um, it's going to be so fun to see them adapted. I'm curious how they're going to do Shuhei's Bonkai because it isn't really... It's a Bonkai that doesn't really suit the gameplay style of BBS very well. I can't think of how they're going to end up doing it mechanically. Which is what makes it so interesting. It makes me wonder how they're going to end up adapting all of these things into it. It's going to be a fun time for BBS once they actually get to these releases. It's been a long wait since fucking... Thousand Year Blood War Round 4 was released in what? Middle of August last year? Early August? Right after Anniversary Ukiora. So, it kind of hurts. It's been like... I want to say nine months since the last super hyped characters from me personally. And I mean, they've had them come back, but it's just the same units that were released last time. There's no hype around that. It's just, oh, they returned. You can play as them. I'm looking forward to when we hit that point where the manga characters start releasing properly. Novel characters are announced and things are actually moving inside the game. The epic raids have been inc incredibly fun so far, but they're not enough for me to be sustained personally in terms of like gameplay flow. So it'll be interesting. I, I'm trying to think of what I want out of it. I think best case scenario is Hikone is going to be a mind recharge unit with some pretty crazy strong attacks and maybe some extra new effects. Because there's definitely some things they could program into that blade that'll be super interesting. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited for all of this. BBS is going to be popping off soon. Okay. So recently, I started to think about how... Different games that are like mobile games are basically like almost reskinned or changed versions of console games. So, for example, Tokyo Ghoul Reinvoke, the game that I play the most, is Tokyo Ghoul Call to Exist on the PS4. BBS is Bleach Soul Resurrection, but turned chibi and put on a mobile phone. Naruto Blazing is Naruto Storm put onto a mobile device and using the animations from it. It's fascinating to me that they end up having these partnerships between the two different things. It makes you wonder, is the reason why we're just sitting with this like amount of Bleach games because they don't have too many ideas? 
because I, I, I realized recently as well, they're releasing the 3D MMO version of the Chinese Bleach Kyo game. That was released a while back. It's kind of similar to Spiritual Awakening, but it's more in the vein of like... It's, it's Soul Resurrection from third person, and is a similar gameplay style to this, but is like from behind. It is kind of fun, honestly. There's definitely not a lot to do, but it does have a really good foundation to it, and we'll be playing on the channel, guaranteed. Um, but we don't have experimentation like that. We don't have a lot of, like... If that's just another reskin of a type of gameplay similar to Soul Resurrection, I would sooner have a game that kind of goes out of its way to try out a new gameplay style. I've been enjoying... I, I rolled recently on the JoJo Diamond Records game, as well as the Jumpootie Heroes. Jump Hootie. I hate that. H horrible name. Uh, Jump Hooty might be better. Uh, both of which are very unique styles of gameplay. Um, the JoJo one is more of like a turn-based thing, while the Jump Hootie is more of like... It's, it reminds me of Yokai Watch Wib Wob, which is a really weird example, um, but I kind of love it. So it's... I would sooner have a Bleach game that tries out different styles like Spiritual Awakening does, like different stuff like that does than what it currently is doing. However, let's pop this. I love that! It's so fucking good looking! I love him. What a cool guy. I remember I had a thumbnail a while back that used that as like the main image. I might do it again, but try and like make it almost the reverse of what it did last time. So make like the, the everywhere aside from the crack, the thing that changes. I think it'll be a fun time. Um, I remember when Urahara dropped, I did a showcase on him. He is just so fucking fun. Like, we just beat that raid, granted it's a very easy raid, but with no issues and barely getting hit. His kit just feels so fucking good. I actually needed those blue droplets as well, so I don't mind it. Here, I kind of... Low-key, I kind of want to play another one. Like, is there another blue raid? There is. Rangiku. Let's go do it. I just, I kind of want to just play BBS. Honestly, I find myself... The most fun I have inside this game was that I can just relax and play it by myself a little while, or just enjoy what it's doing. Um, when I just toss it on auto a lot of the time, I'm finding myself enjoying the game less. But I don't know, like, what scenarios I would end up using my characters inside right now, aside from just, oh yeah, I'm fighting the raid. Epic raids are cool, but they're not the funnest. Inheritance is what I enjoy the most, but it's only around during one week during the entirety of the month, which kind of sucks. It's the one piece of content that I actually feel like is worth playing inside this game right now. Um, Sin Kaimon, this account can't really run too well. I can get up to floor 20 or so, but beyond that, I need greens, and I need a bunch of different characters that I don't have. So, it does hurt. I think I also just need to start doing pulls on different banners. I've been sitting on my uh, orbs because I want to try and wait for the other characters, but because it's been so few banners dropping, it hasn't sat the best. Hey there, dude. Uh, stand up. I also just realized that both the raids we did don't have my killer. Granted, I also am playing as the five-star version doesn't actually have the killer just yet, so I guess that's fine. Um, I miss Bleach. I, I miss the different things that Bleach did. I miss the different series that were doing it. And I, I can't roll back on Spiritual Awakening or Death Realm because when I lose an account of a game that's focused on progression and getting materials grinded up, starting over from the beginning kind of hurts me. Like this game especially, I found myself not even wanting to roll on the game because like I had golden Pupples and golden Yukis that were, or golden Yukis and golden whatever that were sitting here. But now I have like no accessories and it makes it a lot harder, certainly. However, we're doing pretty hot here. I actually might pop my special just to get the next wave done here. Hey everybody. Wow. Let's go take a drink of my coffee. You know, recently, I have begun to embrace the thing called espresso shots. Uh, I didn't know just how good espresso shots make the coffee you're drinking. And upon putting them inside my coffee, I realized that it makes it so much creamier, it goes down smoother, I have more energy because I'm fucking hopped up on the death caffeine. It's kind of great. 
Granted, it is marginally worse for you. However, it, I find that it just makes me enjoy the coffee more. Oh no, I was paralyzed. Oh no, but we're, we're okay. It's, it's fine. Don't even worry about it. Bye guys. Here, next wave. Oh, no next wave. I still have to revive anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Hey everybody. Bang. God, he's so fun to play though. I'm looking forward to being able to run Inheritance when it comes back. Today is the last day of this Inheritance, and so it's mined, so I can't actually do the green one until when it comes back next time. So it'll it'll be a minute. At least I have time to max him out and kind of take my time with it. I actually think that... Will Inheritance come back when the manga characters drop? Because I'm trying to think. I think it returns once per month at the beginning of the month. So if they dropped it for the end of month, next month for the uh, mo or novel characters, that would be the time. Might be fun to run Urahara with one of those then. If they have one of them actually be green, that is. I'm curious who they'll end up doing in the first batch though. I don't think they'll do all of the characters in one banner. I would assume that the first banner would be like... See, I'm thinking Shuhei, I'm thinking Hikone, and not Tsunashiro. Um, what I'm thinking it might be is Hikone, uh, it might be Shinji, or they might just do another character from the novel that's just around. Um, so one of the other characters that were, I'm trying to think of, like, noteworthy names aside from them. Uh, Zero Squad's always still possible from those novels, but it's doubtful. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else had big roles aside from Shuhei and Shinji right now. Um, they'll definitely do the new Ichigo that was revealed inside the, the novel later on inside, at least. Because there was one that used, like, his Quincy Hollow powers together, which is interesting. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a good time. I definitely think we're gonna get two banners of three characters, or... God forbid one banner with four. That would be the worst case scenario, where it has, like, Shuhei, fucking Tsunashiro, Ichigo... Or, no, Tsunashiro, Hikone, Shinji, and Shuhei all in one banner together. Because in that case, we'll probably end up making it a step up and making it like a super banner that hurts your wallet super hard. Good stuff, though. I'm looking forward to it. I, I, I fucking love Bleach. Bleach is so good. I miss it. Here, pop it. I love his kit so much! He doesn't even have Frenzy yet. That's the best part. It, it only goes up from here. It only gets better. Good stuff. I'm also looking forward to when they have Droplet Trials come around again. Definitely think I'm going to end up running Urahara inside that and trying to get as much grinding done as possible. I've been sorely lacking in Droplets, and I actually really direly need them. And you really need one good, like, Hollow Killer to get through those, typically. At least from what I played. I don't know if they've changed since I last played them, like, back in... What, November? <laughs> it's definitely been a minute. I know they come around fairly often. It's like two weeks uh, and then Inheritance, then two weeks and then Droplets. So probably during White Day, I would imagine. Either way, it's gonna be some good stuff. I'm trying to think of who else I would want to be dropped for White Day, to be honest. Because, like, Stark uh, was revealed to be with Aizen, so Aizen will probably be a thing later on. Um, I would love a Byakuya from that society. Uh, who else would make sense? A Grimjow would be neat, but there's already a White Day Grimjow. Uh, I would love an Uryu, actually. An Uryu that shoots, like, I don't know, would it be, like, chocolate fondue? He has fondue arrows. Just be good stuff. Also, I died. My first death of the run. Too bad it's in the second last room. Good stuff. Alright, Rongiku. I actually have a friend that has a Retsu, so you shouldn't be a huge problem. Here. Bwah. That makes me uncomfortable. Oh my god, the heal is still on screen. Good stuff. Alright. Uh, I'm probably gonna dodge out of your special you're about to use. Or not. Never mind. Guess you didn't do that good stuff anyway. I'll take it. Wait, his ankle even has like the stitches? 
That's some good attention to detail. Good stuff. I'm happy with that. Okay, so... That's gonna be our video on BBS for today. they are having a lot of fun with the game in terms of inheritance grinding. I'm looking forward to when they drop it again. However... It's, it's definitely, during the time when there's nothing, there is very much nothing. Uh, so I'm looking forward to when they have the stream at the end of the month in terms of, like... They had an announcement inside here somewhere. I actually don't know exactly where. Um, but they mentioned that they were going to end up adding, or having a stream at some point soon. I don't see it here, though. Um, but it's on the website here. I'm, no, I'm going to look at this. Bleach Brave Souls. Where is your website? Official. Allow all cookies. Good stuff. Can't for your own world collaboration. Here it is. New war begins. Terrible incident. So we have... Oh yeah. So confirmed characters that we have is Tokinata Sunashiro, Hikone, uh, Aura, and Seinosuke Yamada. Of which looks like kind of like... The, the Byakuya? That'll be interesting. So those four are confirmed then. That probably won't be the first banner. What I'm thinking is it'll probably be Hikone. Aura would make sense for the first banner, because she is in the early parts of it. And then maybe um, Shuhei. Then Seinosuke, uh, Sunashiro, and Shinji would make sense as well. It says, coming soon. And there was an announcement for the stream for it. Um, I think it was like 28th or something, but I don't see the details here. Um, either way, it's gonna be good stuff. Uh, I am... I'm always concerned that the Hikone... I'll actually put this on screen right now. Oh god, I probably shouldn't show my tabs. Because there's some fucked up shit inside here. I was told about an LSD bird that gets fucked by a horse earlier. And I have it in my Google tabs. It's okay. That's, that's fine. Um, it's weird shit. Uh, an attractive child who'd be taken for a boy or a girl concerns me. But I don't see any details here as to what day this is going to end up being. Um, I'm looking forward to it regardless. It's definitely going to be a fun time when they have the stream. Definitely be streaming it when it comes out. Uh, but we'll see how it goes from here on out. Either way, that's going to do it for today's episode of Bleach Brave Souls. Looking forward to the future. Looking forward to banners. My prediction for the end of month last, or like January's month, was wrong, but we'll see if the March one will be correct, and we'll see how this goes. Thank you for watching, take it easy, and bye from the green man that saved the world.